This week we're going to work on Riley's stop whistle. It's gone downhill in recent weeks, so we're going to take things back to basics and follow the steps in the app. So I've got her sat roughly where I want her to stop, and I'm going to blow the stop whistle and send her back for a couple of bits of kibble in the bowl. And now I'm going to put it all together, I'm going to send her to the area and blow the stop whistle. She's being a bit sticky, thinking she knows best, so I'm going to bring her back Try and avoid it again. I'm just going to send it straight to the bowl and not ask for a stop. Now I'm confident she's not going to be sticky. I'm going to ask for the stop whistle. And she stops perfectly, so I pause, blow the stop whistle again, and then send her back for the reward. Now she's stopping nicely for the kibble. We're going to transition to using a dummy instead. So we're going to follow the exact same process as before. So having her where I want her to stop, blowing the stop whistle, sending her back for the dummy. I'm worried she might be sticky again, so I'm just going to send her and not ask for the stop. To build her confidence up. As everything's going well, this time I'm going to ask for the stop whistle. In her excitement, she does ignore it and goes straight for the dummy. So I'm just going to remain calm, get the dummy off of her, give her the correction and take it back a step. So having her where I wanted to stop, blowing the stop whistle and sending her back. Which she does well. So now it's all going well. I'm going to try the stop whistle again. This time she does it perfectly, so I pause, blow the stop whistle and send her back for the reward giving her lots of praise when she gets back. 